good blood squad it's your girl chloe as me back in the cut with another video and right now i am filming this after i got done filming the whole entire video so basically in this video if you guys have not been keeping up with my recent videos there's like this little gray speck on my camera and i was like oh my gosh like i have to get a new lens this and this and that because it was not going away it was like on the lens and i knew it was on the lens because i don't take the actual lens off so i knew it wasn't the actual like camera so i was like perfect timing because what's going on right now like no stores are open and then they're only doing pickups so i don't i couldn't go into the store and speak to anybody about what lens i would need i'm not good with this stuff so i went to go from this video and the little speck had got worse and it was really annoying me like it was annoying me to like a level that i couldn't understand so after i got done filming this video you can kind of hear my frustration in the video but after i got done filming this video i tried to speak to best buy agents they weren't available they weren't answering phone calls this and this and that so i had did some research on what lens i would need for this exact camera and i found a lens so i went ahead and seen if they had it like available where i live and they didn't so it was like an hour and 10 minutes away where i had to go get it and i was like i don't have time for lance so i kept searching and searching and I found a store that had one more of this lens as you guys can tell it's a total different lens so my mom and I drive out there and we get the lens we pick it up and I get back home and I start recording there's still the spec so I'm like okay so it wasn't the lens so it was the actual camera but it wouldn't make sense because I've never opened up like I've never took off the lens before so I they always told me like you got to be really careful with cleaning the actual camera because like you can mess it up or whatever so I took a q-tip as you guys can see they're open right here and I took this lens off and I cleaned the actual camera like very lightly and I put it back on and it was literally almost gone it was like it was like basically invisible but it was like there still faint very and so I did it again I cleaned it off and as you guys can tell there is no spec so for some reason it was the actual camera and I didn't really have to get a new lens but I also feel like how could it have gotten in there so I just feel like it's Lord Jesus Christ trying to push me to get a new lens because it's better quality and stuff like that so with that being said I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I just want to let you guys know that I am also frustrated about the little spec that was there probably more than you guys because I had to literally edit this video and there's like I don't want to have to like reclean my whole entire bathroom when it's not dirty so I really I'm really hoping that you guys can bear with me this is the last video that it's gonna look like that in and I'm really sorry. I just feel like I'm so bad for even uploading it. But it's like I know you guys want to see it. And it's really late at nighttime right now. And I'm like supposed to be in bed. But I decided to go ahead and restart the actual intro. Because I didn't want you guys thinking like this is trash quality. No sis. I upgraded. I definitely upgraded. And yeah. I wonder if I took this off it would make a difference. I mean kind of. But I love you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Boy. How you doing today Jasmine? But. You did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? What's good, bus school? Why? I almost fell, y'all. I'm over here struggling. What is going on, Blood Squad? It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, your girl's gonna be doing a cleaning video. So, yesterday on my Snapchat, I went ahead and asked you guys, where's my phone at? Speaking of Snapchat. Right? But yesterday, I went ahead and asked you guys, what do you guys want me to What kind of video would you guys like for me to do? And literally, the most requested videos were skincare routine and cleaning videos. So, with that being said, today I'm gonna be cleaning my brand new bathroom. So, if you guys did not know, I did move into a new house and I now have a bathroom connected to my to my room. So I actually just got done deep cleaning my bathroom like three days ago, literally cleaning every little detail of my bathroom. But I'm mostly like, once the smell of the cleaning product is gone, and once everything is not as organized as I want it to be, I have to clean it all over again. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. Okay, so basically I got some really cool little jewels up there. I did wanna point out something though. There's like this little speck, like, hold on, right there. And it's literally so freaking annoying. I don't even know where it came from. But with everything that's going on right now, I can't even go to the camera shop. I can't go to Best Buy. I can't go nowhere to get a new lens at all. So guys, please bear with me with that. Like it's so annoying. I promise you I'm even more annoyed about it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to get all these products out of my shower. I have some products over here that you guys can't really see. So with that being said, let me fast forward and take all these products out. filming with this thing on my camera I am so annoyed but I'm getting ready to clean out my bathtub with some bleach and dawn dish soap and also some pine salt all right so basically what I'm gonna do is I kind of clean my tub out different every single time with different products but mostly the main products that I use are bleach and dawn dish soap because bleach is a very good disinfectant and stuff like that once again I hate filming with this thing on my camera so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some hot water and then leave a little bit of water like in the tub like a tiny bit so that I can keep using that water and keep using the same product like on the tub 
tub because the problem is once you pour pine saw and stuff like that in a tub it's just gonna go down the drain so i'm actually gonna block off the drain and just get the water real soapy with the bleach and the pine saw and down dish soap and just keep cleaning it like that if that makes any sense all right so i'm gonna pour a little bit of pine saw in there i love the smell of pine saw my mom hates it but she used it growing up that's why i like it but i'm gonna pour some i'm gonna spray some bleach in there i like to spray a good amount of bleach I probably should actually start cleaning the shower first, but I do it different every time, you guys. I don't really have a specific routine. Now I'm going to put some Dawn Dish soap in there. Now it's time to get to scrubbing. I do have a caddy over there, but, like, I don't want to clean over there right now because I don't want to take down the caddy. And it's already clean. I just cleaned it the other day. So I'm just going to leave that up, but the remaining part I'm going to be cleaning. So I'm going to spray some bleach, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some Dawn Dish Soap on my scrubbing brush, and then begin scrubbing. shower my bathtub is all cleaned out i am going to go ahead and start putting my products back and then i'm going to start cleaning the rest of the bathroom i'm actually going to take my rugs out so that i can sweep in a minute and so that i can also clean my toilet how i want it to be clean without product getting on my carpet so basically my toilet is actually really clean but i'm just going to clean it anyway because like why not so what i'm going to clean it with is i usually clean my toilets with bleach but i'm just going to clean it with some lysol spray today i got this at menards it's so hard to find lysol spray is right now i'm going to take this off it's so hard to find lysol all right now but I found some at Menards so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning my toilet already clean so I don't need to clean that all right so now I'm getting ready to clean off my sink so basically right here I have an incense this lighter is for my incense and here are my incense so incense are basically like to get rid of scents and stuff like that I use them to get rid of the odor from going number two so if you are living with people like if you have like roommates or something like that that you have to live with and you have to share a bathroom with even though I don't I really suggest using incense because after you get done going number two it gets rid of all the scents so you light it before you go number two and then while you're going number two, you want to flush immediately every single time something comes out. Y'all know I'm really big on hygiene and I like for stuff to smell good. So that's why I'm just going to tell you guys the truth because I know we all struggle with this. Some people, actually not all of us. But as soon as you go number two, you want to flush it each time. But you also want to light an incense because it's going to get rid of all the scent. So if somebody has to go in the bathroom behind you, they're not going to smell nothing but an incense. So it's really cool. All right, so this is my face wash. I need to go put that in my skin prep scrub. I need to go put these back in the shower. But basically, I did clean off this tray recently. And you don't have to clean it too much because the sparkles kind of get dimmed. There's like sparkles in it. It's a marble tray. So you have to like use a rag and stuff like that but I'm just not gonna clean this because I literally just cleaned it when I cleaned my bathroom three days ago and I'm just gonna basically take everything off of my sink and then begin cleaning it so I actually love the sprayway glass cleaner it's so amazing you guys I love this stuff it's the best cleaner ever it doesn't leave any streaks so I only need to clean like over here a little bit because you know you have like the little splatters from your toothpaste so I'm just gonna clean over here real quick. And this little mirror over here. Grab some paper towel and then I just go ahead and clean it all off, obviously. This paper towel is not dirty though. So I do kind of reuse my paper towels that I use for my mirror on my sink. I'm gonna use some more Lysol on my sink. And clean it that way. And when I tell you guys this Lysol is so strong, like it works so good for cleaning. I usually never use disinfectant sprays for cleaning. It works so good. It makes your whole entire bathroom smell like it. Now I'm gonna go 
ahead and shake off this rug. Then I'm gonna begin sweeping. And then I'm gonna get my Swiffer and go over it. I'm also gonna take this trash out of here and just replace the trash in a minute. I'll be right back. Let me go grab my broom and my Swiffer. All right, you guys, so I am back with my Swiffer and my broom. I don't understand how so much stuff comes from that rug every time I shake it. All right, so I have swept everything. Now I am getting ready to get my Swiffer and clean the floors, put my rugs back, and everything's clean. I already cleaned my floorboards and behind my toilet like three days ago when I had deep cleaned my bathroom. Ugh, I can't stand when people use my dustpan and don't clean it off. I do not like dirty dustpans. All right, so I am done sweeping. For right now, I am mopping my floors. I put the Swiffer thing on and I am mopping my floors and that is the last step, except for putting my rugs back. And after I put my rugs back, I'm gonna go ahead and light a candle and let this bathroom be what it is. My whole room smells like pine saw and bleach and Lysol, and that's what I love. Like even though I did all of this and more, actually I did way more than this the other day in my bathroom, like I, I still like for it to be super clean, like I'm just that type of person. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. Okay, so don't mind my Swiffer and my box and my body butter, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this rug back. And how I like to put this rug back is like, I put my hand across it so that everything looks smooth on it because it's one of those rugs where if you step on it, it's gonna show your footprint. So I kind of just go over with my hand to make sure it looks all even, no fingerprints, no footprints. Alrighty. I'm gonna put a new trash bag in here and I kind of just like flip them up like that so, they doesn't, so it doesn't look so bad. All right, you guys, so my bathroom is officially clean. Let me grab my phone. It is officially all clean. Everything's all cleaned off. The floor is clean. Everything is just spotless. I got my little candle going. It's like a little pomegranate candle I got from Myers, and my trash is all emptied out. Everything is spotless and right. Okay, so I never actually ended off the video, like, professionally. Do not mind how I'm talking. I have some aligners in. I do not like aligners. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get braces very soon again. Honestly, it's a long story. The retainer that they gave me after I got my braces, I didn't keep it on because it was cutting on blood It was cutting off blood circulation, so it was, like, really bad. So my teeth are, like, going back to how they were, kind of. And, like, I've been wearing this Smile Direct Club stuff. As you guys can tell, I had, like, some aligners on, but I'm going to be getting braces again. After the world goes back to normal but yeah so i thought i would go ahead and end off the video like a normal person and say thank you guys so much for watching my video god bless you all in jesus name i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know that it was very annoying with the little speck like i'm even like sitting here debating like if i should even upload it but for the people that wanted to see this video please just stick through i love y'all and god bless you all bye